Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Ken's Geek Side. Thank you for dropping by today. If you're new on this channel, thank you for joining me. On this channel, we talk about all things comic books, superhero related, tokusatsu, comic books, manga, whatever you want to talk about or whatever I want to talk about. So, with all that said, um, if you like these kind of contents, please like, subscribe, and share this video. It'll help me out tremendously. And with all that said, let's talk about today's video. The month of April is Hmong Heritage Month, and I know it's more of a Minnesota and Wisconsin thing, but I used to live in Wisconsin, and it's a big milestone for the Hmong community. So, in celebration of that, let's talk about Hmong people and comic books. Talking about Hmong people and comic books, there's literally only two people or two comic book characters I know in comic books, and one is from Marvel and one's from DC. So let's talk about them. So the first Hmong character to be ever featured in a comic book is um, from DC. Her name is Rose Wilson, um, the daughter of Deathstroke. That's right, Slade Wilson himself. She first appeared in Deathstroke number 15 in 1992. Um, she was created by Marv Wolfman and Art Nichols. Um, she was originally a comer in the comic books, but Christopher Priest, a writer, changed her to being Hmong in 2016's DC Rebirth, Deathstroke number 10. Christopher Priest said, I'm quoting from an interview he did, Changing Ravager's mom, Lillian, from comer to Hmong was my choice, a result of research into Vietnam-era history of U.S. involvement with the various Asian cultures of the region. In keeping with Marv Wolfman's original concept of Deadpool's, I mean, Deadpool, <laughs> Deathstroke's rescue of Lillian Worth, I was looking to ground this story in as much reality as possible, which included properly motivating Deathstroke slash Slade Wilson to rescue this woman. Many Hmong had assisted the U.S. military during the war and needed to be evacuated from Southeast Asia. I felt having Lillian be one of those displaced Hmong working as a U.S. intelligence sub subcontractor in Cambodia, rather than being a native comer, created more dramatic possibilities for the series. So you heard it here first from Christopher Priest. Um, he did his research on the Hmong, um, on the Hmong people's involvement in the Vietnam War, and so he had it, her change from comer to being Hmong in 2016. So she is the first Hmong character in comic books and DC, my favorite publisher. That's right. It's really cool just to have. Well, some of your own people in comic books as a superhero. With all that said, let's get to Marvel, which has the second Hmong character in comic books. So the second Hmong character in comic books stems from the Marvel Universe, and it's uh, none other than the first and last Hmong King, Chiyo, or I don't know how to pronounce it in Mandarin, but the way we pronounce it in Hmong is Chiyo, which is literally the first and last Hmong King. Um, let's see, he first appeared in Warriors of the Three Sovereign number one back in 2018. If you don't know, the history of Chiyo was, um, let's see, the founding father of the, okay, so uh, uh, the way it's written here is Chu Li Du, but the way we pronounce it is Chu Li Du, so I have no idea how to pronounce it in Mandarin. So they do mention him here. Um, as of now, he's the main antagonist in the new Iron Fist series, and um, he was even mentioned by Null to be the god of war in the Marvel Universe. And so Null is the god of symbiotes, the planet where Venom comes from, and um, is considered to be a goat. But unfortunately, he is a villain in the Marvel Universe, which I have no problem with. It's really good to have a twist on things to keep things fresh. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of the audience that reads um, comic books don't really know who Chiyo is. Hey, it gives people something to read and it keeps things interesting. And so with all that said, those are the only two Hmong characters in comic books. I'm hoping to see more in the future. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, happy Hmong Heritage Month in April. I know it's a little bit late, but better late than never. And again, if you like these kind of contents, comic book stuff, superhero stuff, definitely click that like button, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, stay safe, happy reading, bye, peace.